In this video, we are going to see management of a posterior subcapsular cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The patient is under topical anesthesia. This is phenocaine, which contains tropicamide, phenylephrine, and lignocaine. This is SPMC filling up the anterior chamber. And now, with the help of a lens stiff knife, a side port is made on the left side of the main wound. And now, capsulorexis is done with the help of this utrita forceps. The utrita pierces the center of the capsule, raises a capsular tag. This capsular tag is guided all around anticlockwise to get an adequate sized capsulorexis of 5.5 millimeter. And now, hydrodissection is done with the help of BSS and 27 gauze cannula. The nucleus is tapped. Visco again filling up the SE. And now, watch use of this pre chopper. The pre chopper and the nucleus sustainer divides the nucleus into two pieces, rotated and then on heminucleus is subdivided into two pieces. And now we can easily manage this nucleus using minimum ultrasonic energy. So and now we are going to use the handpiece. The handpiece goes with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and this piece of nucleus is healed, brought at the center and it is emulsified. Now we go to the other piece. See how easily we can pick off the pieces and and now this heminucleus is easily divided into two and then the pieces are emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used is 40 to 60 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now there is lot of cortex in this case. The capsular bag and, and the antechamber is filled up with visco. And in this case, I'm going to use this coaxial irrigation aspiration. The coaxial irrigation aspiration goes and you hold the anterior part of the cortex, pull centrally and aspirate. And this is the subincisional cortex. You could remove the subincisional cortex also by the coaxial irrigation aspiration. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. This is the irrigating proof for polishing the posterior capsule. And now hydro implantation of an intraocular lens is to be done. Before that, this is enlargement of the main wound just by on cut because I'm going to use a B cartridge. And now this is the intraocular lens. See the leading haptic. This is the way to bend it. Otherwise, it can cause stress of the posterior capsule and sometimes 
it can even tear off the posterior capsule. This is technison from uh, Johnson and Johnson, very thick optics, very thick uh, haptics. And now this is closure of the side port. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is then nicely formed and integrity of the wounds are checked with a cotton taped Janssen bard. There should not be any leakage from any side. Few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.